Hey all, Ryan here. Just wanted to give a quick update on what this video is. So for about the first 15 minutes, I'm going to just be playing the game, trying to beat it, uh, talking about the dev process, uh, showing off some bugs that I find along the way. And then after that, for the remaining, remaining like 35, 40 minutes, I'm basically gonna open up the project files and show you guys the source code, uh, go in and fix some bugs, just so that you guys can see what the development process for something that like this uh, looks like. Uh, Cause I always think that's pretty interesting. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Hey all, it's Ryan. Uh, today I'm here with The Old Chateau. This is a game I've been working on with Millennium and Good Guy Gastly for the last three weeks-ish, since the beginning of the month. Uh, I'll let these credits play out. You guys can, uh, can watch it. There's Millennium, he's a great guy. Uh, we're gonna be working together for a foreseeable future. He's a good guy Gastly, he handled a lot of programming with me. Taught me a lot. Uh, and here is... me. <laughs> Uh, so the three of us, this is loud. Can you guys even hear me? Oh, you guys can't hear the game. That would check out, wouldn't it? Okay. Yeah, that's loud. But, um, here we are. Quick. What the fuck? There we go. Okay, so here we are. Oh, shit. Alright, I gotta hide already. So, this is the old chateau. Uh, I actually have not beaten this game, even though I made it, and I also have not seen a lot of the jump scares. This one I know about. Um, but basically the objective is you're locked in this house and you gotta get out. So there's a note on the table here, and you will be lost to the shadows of- fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, so, for reference, that thing just alerted Haunter to where I am. Am I good? <laughs> Hope I'm good. Uh, you can't really peek out. I'll take the risk. Okay, I didn't really get a chance to read that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah, run away now. That's what I thought. So I figured I would just play it while I talk about the development process. Uh, this took about three weeks. Fun fact, I actually made the project file for this game uh, like 6,000 feet in the air. I was on an airplane on my way to Rochester, New York. So that's kind of a fun fact. Um, I did that. Shit. Yeah, 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 buddy. Yeah, run away. Okay, so I gotta get upstairs. That's where, like, 99% of the, uh, action is. So, fuck. I actually haven't explored all of the mansion yet either, I'll be completely honest. Uh, I promise I'm not playing that up. Shit. I promise I'm not playing that up. I don't know what the heartbeat means. I honestly got have no idea what that means. I usually do the programming with the audio off. What does that mean? I genuinely don't know what that means. I do all of my programming with the audio off because I do it at school usually. That actually fucking scared me. Shit. Oh, I'm so boned. So yeah, the, uh, the Gastlys don't like light. Um, if you happen to come close to a Gastly, it'll alert monster to where you are. Fuck you. Fuck you. Um, I handle the doors. That's a good one. Um, <laughs> they're just doors. They're not very special. Uh, they were meant to open dynamically based on which way you come in from. So, like, if I get it this way, um, uses math, or, it should have used math to open it away from you every time, but something got screwed up when we needed to switch the model around, so it only kind of works. So, you know, door is janky as hell. Typical, I should leave that open, so I know I've already been there. Uh, let's see, was that a key? Ooh, it is! Uh, I handle this inspection system, this Resident Evil style inspection. You can thank Good Guy Ghastly for the widget stuff. I didn't really do that, but I did the inspection. Um, 
You can also thank Good Guy Gasly for like a solid 90 to 95 percent of. <laughs> Fuck you, God. Yeah, you're gonna run at me. Fuck, that scared me. I'm not even kidding. That just scared me. Um, fuck. I just got scared of my own fucking game. Um, shit, all the music stopped. Oh, we didn't make that loop. I actually don't want to lose now. Oh, look, there's a note I put here. Ghastly apparition appeared in the mirror today, eyes piercing my very essence. I dared not move lest it sense my fear. The air turned icy and the room filled with a suffocating presence. Is the spirit trying to convey a message or is it a warning of impending doom? That's one-sided. <laughs> uh, fun fact about the notes, they actually have no collision themselves. There is a very small box that handles the collision because these were so thin that dropping them with physics just welded them into the floor and nobody knew that they were there. He doesn't see me, does he? All right, we're... It looks like he's hanging around the first floor a lot right now. <sighs> That's not funny. Since when could that even happen? I didn't know that that could happen. I remember him talking to Millennium was like, hey, we should, we should have an event that just... What is the heartbeat? What does that mean? I'm slow? No, it doesn't. Alright, so I did something dumb, and I accidentally fucking closed out of it instead of just pausing it. So we're gonna restart. I've done some research, and I figured out a couple of the possible spawn locations. And by research, I mean I reopened the fucking game files and just looked. Uh, let's see. So it could be over here, possibly. Uh, this chair-moving sequence was actually the first one that we did. And we had an issue where it would play even when the player wasn't around, and that was due to the fact that Gasly's could also trigger it for some reason. That was a fun bug to figure out. How in the fuck did you not see me? Oh, here's a fun fact. That noise that Gasly just played, that... That noise? Oh, fuck. Uh, that noise is actually the A button press from the older Pokemon games. Uh, like... Wow, that is loud. Hold on. Alright, should be able to hear me a little bit better now. It's actually the A button press from the older Pokemon games, like, slowed down and reverbed. So it's kind of interesting. So we have a key, and I, I think I know where the puzzle piece is for said key. Is that another one? <gasps> this could be the one. Why is this key significantly smaller than the other one? Oh, well, I didn't make them. Uh, also, you'll see in the bottom left, eventually. Um, just kind of pops in and fades away. That's a bug. Uh, it's meant to fade in and then fade away. Uh, but for whatever reason, the fade in animation doesn't play. So it just starts the fade out animation at... One um, 100% opacity and then fades out. Uh, I'm surprised none of us noticed that when we were testing. I need to find out where that locked room is. Fuck you. Oh, this is the... Okay. So I didn't think that this room had anything in it originally. Uh, I thought that this room was just bugged and couldn't be opened. Yes! Okay. Oh, that's a... I'm gonna have to look back at the footage. I did that too quickly. What the fuck? I wonder. Because, hmm. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, so I gotta find the next puzzle piece as well. That's some bullshit. That's weird, though. I'll, you know what? I will look at the video, and I'll see what just happened, and I'll see if I can figure out why that's, maybe there's, no. Oh, shit, look. Thank you, Haunter. Keys can actually spawn up there as well. 
It's kind of interesting. So this is the last puzzle piece for room. Okay. Oh, hell no. Oh, is that what the heartbeat means? Fuck you. Does the heartbeat... If I collect this, will the heartbeat stop? No. Fuck you. Don't fuck it. Oh no! Come on, man! Fuck. Oh, that sucks. Okay, we got it this time. This time for sure. Okay. What? I think I was supposed to be facing that way. I was walking backwards. Fuck you. Oh no. There's no fucking wardrobe. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, what are you gonna do, fucking dickhead? Fuck you. Uh oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Oh, where are you going, pal? What's up? What's up? What's up, dog? Hunter, have you hydrated today? What the fuck, man? Come on. Yeah, no, there's no way he's pathfinding me right now. Oh my god, that's the room. This is the room with the last key. You've got to be kidding me. What are the odds? Man, I get all three keys, finally. And, and this is... No, come on this side. Get stuck on this side. No, this side. Did he get me? Oh, he just tried to grab me. Holy shit. Oh! No! What the fuck? Same strategy! Same strategy! No! 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 Fuck. God damn it. Fuck. I'm trying to break my own game, motherfucker. Yeah, buddy. Hey. Oh, we're doing this again, are we? All right. Oh, you. Let me run. Oh, he tried to grab me. Oh, no. Jukes. This time for sure. This time for sure. Alright, awesome. Excellent start. That's a not great start. Nice. Beautiful start. Nuh-uh. 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 Oh, right. What am I doing checking rooms? This one is the... Yeah, fuck you, buddy. Nice. Might as well just keep looking. Oh! That works. Wait, isn't that the key where it was busted or? Maybe that key always spawns there for some reason. And then it also just so happened to pick that spot. Strange. Okay. This will be my second time ever getting all three puzzle pieces.
Fuck you. Fuck you. Is he guarding that fucking spot? What if I just get him to chase me and then I loop around? Oh, he's fucking guarding this spot. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Oh, we're so good. Oh, we're so good. <laughs> Fuck yes. Easy game. Late work, first try. Uh, there are definitely people who didn't make this game that beat this faster than I did. What? Okay. Let's open up the editor. Okay, here we are in the... Whoa lag in the project so this was organized not great to be honest uh i gotta gotta show the gang some uh, some organizational tips uh for example if you'd like to know some you can you can tell which ones i did and which ones i didn't do based on where everything is in the content browser everything that i touched pretty much is gonna be in what at least i find is to be the standardized organization is we have this why is it only showing like, okay. We have this Pokemon isolation because this was originally supposed to be alien isolation. So I changed it. Here's everything I did all organized and everything. And then you've got everything else here. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna show them some organizational tips for, for the next project. Uh, but here we are, here's the entrance. Um, I believe, uh, where, where did I say that they were? There are a couple of tests, um, keys. There might be, in, here they are. They're just left outside the map. Uh, if I was to bring them in, here you can see them. Pick them up. Absolutely fucking massive. This is actually the object that I tested the inspection rotation stuff on. Um, so as you can see, you can pick these two up, and he'll spawn right there and, and kill you instantly. Did it just crash? What just happened? Oh, a breakpoint. What is this? All right, let's see. Jump scare toggle box. I wouldn't consider that a toggle, but sure. On component end, Y end overlap. Oh, I see. Because this one's you leave that area. I see. Okay. I see. Understood. So, what that was is if we actually go ahead, I could probably do. Why? Oh, there's two of them open. That's why it's so laggy. Let's see. Let's see if I can get that breakpoint to fire again. Okay, or not, but um, basically, here we go. So what this is doing, I think, is box, let's do visible, or it'll be hidden again. No, and we can make the line thickness really big, with like. now if I do this and I immediately hit P and okay can I not can I shift F1 can I unpossess what's what's up here all right I'll just run for it I guess here we go now I should, in theory, be able to unpossess. Uh, 
Isn't it F8 to unpossess? Where is the possess option? Okay, well, I guess it doesn't really make all that much. What does this do? Is it gonna do it again now? Okay. Yeah, that's valid. Yeah, that's... What's up with that? What are you supposed to do? Anyway. Uh, let me remove that right one, actually. Um... Let me see if I can just get it to show up, whatever the heck it is. Uh, so here's also what the mansion looks like with Fulbright. It's kind of interesting. What is the jump scare controller? I'm looking for those big bounding boxes. I don't see them anywhere. I'm assuming what that is, is it Haunter will spawn or jump scare you depending on where you get the last puzzle piece, I believe. I wonder if that's what that's supposed to do. Let's see if we can find a couple of those keys. I should be able to just unpossess this character. I thought, can I not do that? Why can't I do that? Oh, that's funny. If you're not actually moving, you still make noise. That's fun. That's a bug. Why don't we do a bug fixing thing? Let's go around and fix all the bugs. Not all of them. I'm going to to fix some of the bugs. See, what is that? Oh, first thing, let's go visit our buddy Ballsack. Oh. I don't want to. Are you Ballsack? Hey, buddy. Here's a good look at him. And then we'll come back. So let's take a look. Let's figure out what's up with you. So this looks like an event trigger. It is overlap sequence player. Uh, it's just using the base. Let's look at this scary, oh, okay, scary creature. Here are all of the jump scares. Let's see. So what is this supposed to look like? All right, Siri. So, what is this? And what might this be? Is this not being used? I don't believe it is. Let's just retry it, Let's see? Okay, this audio track is also not being used, neither is this one. Oh, he... Ooh. Did he duplicate the track every time by mistake? Could have been. Um, so I believe... Oh, uh... Mm, what? It's not how you have to do that. Okay, let's go through a um, a bit of a lesson here. There's gotta be, here it is. What we can do, wait, does he just get moved back down at the end of it? Oh, he does. Isn't there a thing that can just get rid of him? Man, I'm really not showing my, um, Convert to spawnable, here we go. Convert to spawnable. Then what we would do is instead of position tracking him, we'll get rid of this, I've spawned. So, you will start not spawned. Let's add a new tra- well, let's first of all go back to the beginning, to front. Uh, spawned, you will not be spawned. Then on the next frame, we'll spawn you in. There's probably a start spawned thing, but I can't bother to figure it out. And then we'll add another one, and you will not be active. So new cutscene. That looks good. Um, the other thing is, track defaults is active. There should be project default. We need to keep state. That may have fixed it. It also may not have fixed it. Let's find out. That should at least stop him from respawning, but let's see if he's there to begin with, which was the main issue. If 
Fuck you, man. I'm just, I'm just trying to test. Okay? I'm just trying to test. You, man, I'm not dealing with this. Man, fuck you, man. Are you serious? There he is. And he disappears too. Perfect. So that's that bug fixed. That's that's how we do it. Now let's think. Okay, we can do that widget. Let's do that widget. Actually, before we do that, let's see if that room over here really does always spawn that key on that bench. Which one was it? Is it you? No. Oh, okay, so here's interesting. So these are where the keys can spawn. So it's not the same for every room. So this room spawns on the bed. This room spawns on the footrest. This one's on the footrest. Okay, I believe it was on this side of the mansion then. Would have been... So here's the... Okay, so that one's locked. Yeah, so this is the puzzle piece room. And that means, I think this is the room. It's like fucked up. Is there two of them here by chance? No. So what happened there? Yeah, okay, so the room by the fuck up is absolutely the lock. Can we delete that? Does that hurt anything if we delete that? Nope. Boom, that's one less issue. Uh, let me run these back. Oh, here's the thing. We didn't set up the get ignore properly, so it's all fucked up. That shouldn't shouldn't look like that. Uh, interesting. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do that widget now. So what we can do is we can go over to the world settings and we can look at the HUD class. This should give us some more information on what HUD we're using. Show hide, I didn't do any of this. So this is also kind of interesting because it could show it could show my skill, considering I didn't really touch most of this. Okay. Okay, so this is what's fucking up. Fade collection. Can I find references? No. Uh, show use, show collection, notify. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, that's exactly why. Okay, so here's how we're gonna remedy this. So then there should be a function called fade out somewhere. Where is that? Right here. Could not be staring at me in the face. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We are going to, yep, mm -hmm. okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play this exact same thing. We're just gonna play it in reverse. And then we're gonna wait a second. Is it called delay or is it against delay? Okay. One. Or actually, when it's finished, rather. We'll wait two seconds. And we'll do that. And that should fix that fade out error. Let's see. Oh, okay, so what's nifty, I just realized, is if I really want to know where the key is, I'm playing here, I can just go up here, I can go key, 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 here we are, actually F, I believe, okay, I can't do that here, can I, yes, no, I don't want to pilot, I just want to go to it, snap, view to up, no, can't I just fly there? Or is it going to make me, like, look around for it? Shit. 
Yeah, buddy. Yep, 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 yep. I'm aware. You dick. Well, now I'm hella dead. Okay, let's just... Oh, you know what I can do? I can use these. We'll, we'll bring them a little closer as well. Interesting. Very interesting. What's up with that? Mm-hmm. I'm assuming that's a one. Okay, so what happened there was it is playing in reverse. So it starts at the beginning, but or it, it would have started at the beginning, but start time was at zero. So if it's fading in and start time is zero, it's going to be fucked up. Actually, it doesn't sound right because it doesn't. Is this a one? Why is it? Just make it a, just make it a second. Why is it 1.05? Just make it a, just make it a second. What, what the fuck? Okay. That might have something to do with it. Okay, so then the real solution to this would be to just make a new widget animation. So let's just do that. Actually, you know what we could honestly fucking do? Let's just make it, because this isn't that big of a deal of like an animation. Let me just get rid of this. Get rid of that, so that the second you collect it, play, you can play it forward, start at zero, yep. Once it's finished, yep, do all that. Let's go here, and instead we'll just do everything manually, so. We'll start at zero. Okay, start at zero. This will go to one. You can reach, we'll make it three seconds long. Mm-hmm. So then, well, actually, the whole thing can be three seconds long, but then this specific part needs to go at like a second. Yep, we'll, we'll wait a second. Put another keyframe there. You should both be at one, and then this can go back down to zero. So let's play that. Beautiful. Now let's try it. And the reason that there's no name is because I don't think these things have a name ID. You know what, let's just do this. I don't even fuck with these because show use item notify. Yep. Okay. Because that's making it visible and then it's gonna play the full thing. So let's just do this. So then in five seconds it'll fade in. Approximately. Okay. Or just don't. Oh, because it's hidden by default. go here this thing visibility should be visible by default but the animations at zero that let's see that mm -hmm. and the what is it changing opacity Okay, what? That 
that's fine. Let's just, re yeah, let's just, okay. What was that text? Was it just a text block or what was up with that? Yeah, it's just text. So it's gonna break. Yep, figured. Let's get new text. Yup, 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 yup. Font material, do we have a font? How are we making it look like that? Are we using the brush? Oh, font family up there. Let's justify it to the middle. Let's go down about 12, make that like 18. Make sure I didn't get a text from my buddy who I'm waiting on. I did not. Let's stick that down there. Let's anchor it to the bottom left. Let's give it an offset of like, whoa, that's the size. I didn't want to do that. Make this like 2.5. Let's no, actually needs to be like way bigger. Let's do. Let's get. Let's change the text to be like. Okay, we can make the size like 400, 600. Yeah, should be plenty. Let's give you an offset of 50. And you did I not anchor you properly? There we go. Give you an offset of 90. Nope, negative 90. Okay. You're going to be a variable. You're going to be called collection notify. And you are now going to be that. You're going to be that. You're going to be that. Fade collection. What does that mean? Oh, that's um over here. We can just also get rid of this is not how I would do that either. Uh, granted there's more than one way to do it, of course. Show objective notify. We had an objective notify? Where, where are you in use? Find me a reference right now. Okay, so I just understood what I think is going down here. So these are all events for when you do something. Obviously, fucking obviously. Um, so this is pretty fine, but what we should really do here is make a general method. Make a general method. So we'll make a new function, or actually this should be a custom event because we're dealing with front end. Some events we will make this um, update collection or show show. There's already a show collection notify. Show, uh, play collection notify animation. We will give you an input. Fuck you. you can't do that. Okay. We'll give you an input of plain text. Notify. Okay. And then we will call this play collection of that and that. Okay. Huh. Okay. Okay, Unreal Engine, sure. 
We ball. What is this? UMG animation. Oh, it's this. Um, fade collection. We can just. Can I do that? Is that a thing that I can do? I guess not. Can I replace collection notify with something? No. Okay. We'll just, yeah, we'll, we'll figure that out in a minute. Okay, go back to here. And over here, we're going to get the collection notify. Set text to be that. We are then going to set visibility. Visibility to visible. Yeah, I can just grab a new one of these actually instead of fucking around with reroutes. We can then play the animation. Play. We can do um, what the heck? Oh, I just deleted the animation. All right, I think yeah. So let's make a new animation. We'll call this. Visibility, nope, not visibility. Where is opacity? There we go. Can I just do regular opacity? I thought I could do just opacity. Oh well, oh, render opacity right there, okay. Again, we'll make this three seconds by dragging this out. You're there, you will start at zero. That's a new one. Never mind. You go over there, you go over there. At one second, you will be one. So let's play this. Yep, and then at two seconds. Nope. Two seconds there and then there finally you'll go there and we'll click on you make you zero okay let's play that one more time okay lasts a bit longer but it's better than what we had before can always tweak it uh, now I believe what he was going for is there's a bit of a delay for when you press Q so to do that we're going to set timer by event uh, there's a reason why this is better than set timer by function name, uh, and that is because I said so. I'm kidding. There really isn't much of a difference. I just think it's nicer because you could do this, and you can clearly see what's meant to happen within those five seconds. But I think five seconds is a little long. So we'll do like two seconds. You can always bump that up if you feel like we need to. Now we can be now. Actually, we don't even need to do that. Let's be so honest. Let's just let's just delay. Just delay for two seconds because all we're gonna do is now play an animation. And grab this animation forward, start at zero, restore state. It's gonna be a no. Ooh, we could actually. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's get fancy. Let's get fucking fancy here. Let's just wait two seconds and then play the animation because what we can do. Aha, uh -huh. what we can do actually is we can go into here in the animation itself. I saw this. We can just set the visibility ourselves. So now it is visible. Uh -huh. Go here and then at the end set it to collapsed. I actually don't think it should be collapsed either. I'm pretty sure it should be hidden. Let's do that. This could be wrong though. Now that, that should work. And if it doesn't, I wanna be pissed. Yeah. Okay, and we also need to visibility. Yeah, sorry. 
that's how we fix bugs and such. Okay, so that's that. Let me move these back out of the way. Let's see if I can get one with a regular key and see what it looks like, just to make sure that, that text is being set properly. Because for all I know, it might not be. Yeah, buddy. There's the key. First floor key has been collected. That's cool. Okay, that's that bug fixed. Let's think, what else? What other like major bugs are there? I'm trying to think. Oh, I can fix the sprinting, duh. Okay, so this is actually something that I did work on, so this is my fault. We can go ahead and try to fix that. So it's in framework player here. Now this should be pretty easy to fix because I literally this was the last thing that I did was the sprinting. So let's see. Sprint, here we are. Okay, so we're sprinting and then we're gonna update movement speed and set the player. Uh, okay. I see why this is happening. It's pretty simple. This is running just when we're pressing shift. We're not taking into account any movement stuff. So let's copy this, delete it, and wherever movement is, movement, movement, move, 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 here we are. Uh, we need to play another, we need to move this, because, whoa, okay, just don't be included in that, I guess. We can move this up here, because we need another sequence. What is all this? Oh, this was old footstep code that I wrote that... Millennium wasn't a fan of, not sure why, but uh, go nuts. Add another sequence. We're about to get messy as hell here. How much room do I have to fuck around? Not a lot. Uh, you know what? This is just for demonstration purposes. Please, God, do not do this ever if you're working on a real project. This is terrible. You will get fired. We're just gonna I think that should work. Beautiful. Okay. So let me actually go over this because this isn't the most elegant way of doing things, but it's how I wanted to do it. So, so how this works is every couple of seconds, we notify, we run, we play the footstep sound, and we also run a noise event to let Ghastly know where we are. Um, that way, if you're sprinting, you are making noise, as you can see. So what we have is we come down here, so we do all this bullshit. This is triggered is every frame that this action is happening, so every frame that I'm holding a movement key. We're gonna do all this, and we'll come down to this sequence, and we'll hit a do once. Uh, and what happens on this do once is we set a timer by event, so that in 0.25 seconds, we run this event that's over here, which will reset the do once. Okay? Then, after that, we see if we are not hiding, we are not slowed down by a ghastly, and we are sprinting. You know what? Would that be more performant? I bet you it would be. Let me wait. If I listen in. You know what? It's fine because it sounds okay. Uh, but the walking and the actual footstep sound effects are definitely overlapping onto each other. <laughs> uh, but it sounds fine, so I'm not going to bother. Uh, if we are doing all these things, play the sound, report the noise event, and print the string. So this is what's telling the AI where we are. So this is the value that would tweak um, how far Ghastly can hear us from. So if we make this like this, as you can see, he's going to pretty much beeline right for us. 
I was to walk over this way. Yeah, okay, so not a great demonstration. Not sure what's up with that. Uh, but there you go, that is that. I'm trying to think what other bugs there are to fix. I really want to know what's going on with that, that key that I picked up twice. It's weird. Um, but yeah, that's, um, it's the old chat, though. Stupid little game I worked on for three weeks. I almost said three years. Um, yeah, I beat it. Here's what a completed Unreal Engine project looks like. Three programmers worked on this over three weeks. Um, to touch on some stuff that I did real quick, I worked on this key spawn system. I worked on the doors, which don't work as they should at the moment. Um, I can actually pull up the dev level real quick so that I can show those doors working as they are meant to. Let me save all. Yeah, get on with it. Let me also, did I move those tests back? Okay, I did. Um, It was in first person, I believe, yeah. Maps, first person map, we did everything here. Uh, at least when we were testing, yeah. Uh, these doors open and close depending on which way you open them from. That, oh, that was the slam lock. What is this? Okay, sure. Here we go. So this is one way you can open this door, and if you go on this side, and it's not based on any trigger boxes or anything, it's literally based Oh, it doesn't work. Oh. Now it's going. Sir, it's literally based on your rotation. So it should always open away from you. This is pretty cool math to figure out. Uh, I did item inspection. So if we look, why are they all gone? Oh, here's some. Uh, I handled this. You can zoom it in and out. It's pretty simple. Uh, this could definitely use some work, but it's fine. Uh, for what we were trying to do. There were some unused things, that's bad. Uh, like this bed that teleports you through the floor. Doesn't break anything at all. Uh, there was plans for a hidden room, such as that. Uh, but I believe this character is taller than the character that we were normally using, and that's why the camera is a bit funky. Uh, and if you look, did I just up and, oh no, I moved him. They were getting annoying to test with, so I just moved him. What is that? Wait, what is that? Expansion my fog, okay. Um, these, you know, Haunter also exists. Okay. There's supposed to be music? How come that music doesn't play? Wait, I've never heard that. Is that, like, attached to him? Is there music? Nothing. Strange. Okay, well, there it is. Old Chetto. There were some other things that I worked on, but I can't be asked to go over them. Uh, that's gonna do it. I'll edit this and upload it. See ya.